You're having a bit of a busy week. I'm glad you fit us in. Uh, you had the upgrade from Oppenheimer yesterday. Earlier in the week at an investor conference, you released uh, updated full year guidance. And the start this week, you announced your inaugural common stock dividend. That dividend just under 38 cents a share. What are you seeing in your business? It seems like you have a lot of confidence going forward. Well, uh, we're a leading Fortune 200 B2B distribution and supply chain management company. We've had a great run over the last three years. As you mentioned, three strong businesses. Our future outlook and, and uh, current momentum is fueled by infrastructure investments, all the public sector investments, along with a series of very strong secular growth trends, AI-driven data centers, electrification, utility investment in terms of new generation and grid uh, grid modernization efforts, as well as nearshoring and reshoring to the U.S. Uh, through the pandemic, global supply chains have been impacted dramatically, and we see a shift of nearshoring, reshoring of supply chains back to the U.S., which bodes well for okay. the U.S. market. So a lot of big trends that you see as tailwinds for your business. Now, you mentioned some of the public investment in infrastructure. I want to play a soundbite for you from uh, President Biden's State of the Union address. I want to get your reaction to what he had to say. My policies have attracted $650 billion in private sector investment in clean energy, advanced manufacturing, creating tens of thousands of jobs here in America. Thanks to our bipartisan infrastructure law, 46,000 new projects have been announced all across your communities. All right, so President Biden touting some of the uh, investments in infrastructure through his policy, also some private investments as well. He highlighted the CHIPS Act. What does that mean for your business? Um, and give us a sense in real time, are, where are you seeing the benefits? Where are you seeing more revenue come in? Is, are there certain parts? Is it possibly your, your fiber optics business? Is it your security business? Where are you seeing the impact of this right now? Well, the, the U.S. market is the largest market in the world and is showing resilience. So, uh, you know, these investments are occurring in all three of our businesses. First, our CSS business is fiber optic driven investments. It's data centers in our utility and broadband business. It's it's utility, power generation and grid modernization. And in our electrical business, uh, it's overall electrification uh, impacting okay. parts of the economy as well as industrial. I think it is, it's the start of an industrial super cycle back to the U.S., again, okay. fueled by nearshoring and reshoring. So, John, I do want to ask you, AI, we, we always hear that AI is going to be just this transformative force in every industry right now. Today, right now, how is AI impacting your business? Huge impact, positive. First, our customers. We serve directly the tech companies that are building out data centers. The hyperscale data center builders are our direct customers. We serve 90% of the Fortune 100 companies directly, and we've got leading global solutions. So we're helping them build out those data centers. AI, more specifically Gen AI, is going to be an accelerant uh, to growth of data centers as we look on out. It's also impacting our business. We're using increasing AI applications applied against okay. our big data to run our business better.